conversation of music that gives me PTSD. My ringtone. <laughs> fucking Basil Goose. That's fucking teamwork! Oh, baby, already we just leave the day with some fucking teamwork here. Jasteron! Two year anniversary. Waiting on Squid to actually be on screen. Did you know you can see 15 seconds into the future? I don't know if you were actually aware of that. But you can apparently see 15 seconds into the future. Also, you're the shiniest squidling. Thank you for the 24 months of support, my dude. Glad you're enjoying the content. I have not dropped any frames. The stream has been live for six minutes. For today, that is a massive sweeping record. There was definitely no point earlier in which I went six minutes without dropping a billion frames. Now the downside is, it's 8.40. And I actually can't go super over my normal time because I, I do have to do things at night. And believe it or not, this is crazy. I go to bed at a mostly reasonable time now. And I, so like, I can probably go to like 10.30, 10.45, but then I'm gonna have to get off. So it's gonna be a real short stream today. Which is just bad news, but I mean, to be, to be fair, as much as Spectrum is for the most part a huge, like, just colossal dumpster fire that I have had to deal with for over one full year now. To be fair, this is, this looks like it was an actual outage. And actual outages are a thing that happened to all ISPs not called Google. That's just the thing that happens sometimes. All ISPs that don't care literally at all about their customers have huge sleeping outages sometimes. So, that's okay. How do you sleep from 10 p.m. to 4 p.m.? I sleep from like midnight to 9 or 10 in the morning. I'm up. It's not early. <laughs> but it's early for me. I'm up at like 9 or 10 a.m. now. I'm a people. I'm an actual people. I'll let you guys... Uh, I'll give you an introspective into the magical progression of me becoming a almost a real person i stream now I, my day is before stream i get off at like 10 or 10 30 whenever i decide to stop streaming i usually make some food sit down on the couch watch an idiot play a children's card game for 30 minutes or so while i eat dinner or whatever and then i go on like a 45 minute bike ride and then i come home and go to sleep and i wake up at 9 or 10 in the morning and eat breakfast I'm a person, almost. That's that's like 31% of the way to being a, a real breathing human person. So here's what we're gonna do. We're still gonna play No Man's Sky. Obviously we're still gonna play No Man's Sky. I'm not changing the game idea. I don't know if I'm gonna do the community event today, seeing as it's already super late and not only are we gonna have a really short stream, but also it's just super late and a lot of people have already given up on watching there daily dose of squid so i think we'll do the community stuff tomorrow when i get on assuming i can get on at my normal time like i'm supposed to we'll see how that works we'll see how that works toast is so much better than crip i watch mostly zele and Firebat and Dog. Crip's alright. I used to, like, watch the shit out of Crip, but... I don't know, I just... I've gravitated elsewhere recently. No particular reason. But, uh... Although, by the way, this was right before my stream actually died. Apparently, the floor from the room above clips out to the ceiling here. What the fuck? How does it always look like this? 
I don't feel like it's always looked like that. I think these are new. Oh, my freighter is still here. Science man in his science corner and construction man in his construction corner. I swear to God those are different. I mean, there was an update, obviously. They're, they're, they're doing like a weekly update cycle now with these community events. So it's very possible it's new. What do you want, buddy? Here you go. Beep boop. Thanks for the... Oh, you fucking screwed me that time. He usually gives me somewhere between 600 and 1500 nanite clusters, but they may have realized that that was dramatically exorbitant and started giving out. No! My gun re-rolled! You can't do that! No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky, we really... We really gotta have a talk about what is okay to do in an update to a game. A game where you can have a single multi-tool and you pick a cool looking multi-tool and invest in it. It's not okay in an update to suddenly make that multi-tool look like actual garbage. That's, that's not a thing you can do. That's not okay. Well, my freighter's still the fucking Death Star, so I guess we got that, or not Death Star, but the fucking Star Destroyer. So we got that going for us, that's okay. I still have one, one good thing in my life. Oh, uh, they also claim to have fixed the hidden inventory slots issue. I don't remember what my inventory looked like before, so it's possible. Did I really start getting another? I was starting another row of jetpacks. Holy fuck, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot or I'm a king. I'm not really sure which. <laughs> anyway. I only sent... Why is this station two? God damn it. It's totally random then. Okay. Or he not let Anus Georg carry you. Greetings. That was a journey. Holy crap, they got a lot of stuff. I no longer have to worry about my... Ooh. They made these... Ooh. Okay. So the trade-off for the fact that our gun looks like Dookie is that they made a bunch of the items look really fucking cool. They got a whole bunch of reskins, apparently. That looks neat now. Okay. Okay, you win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Super oxide crystals look really fucking cool. They used to just be a red nugget. That was a difficulty one he went did by himself. More super oxide. Regular trash tier indium. And a Corvax casing that I guess I'll hang on to. Yeah, I'm selling all this crap up here. Well, not you. You can, you can stay. I'm selling all this crap. I like this setup here for the terminal because we put the huge box in front of it. Oh, this is actually the right system to sell this, apparently. I put this huge box here so you can't really tell it looks stupid. You can't tell it's clipping in the wall as badly. I think that was everything. The ear to sign. I forgot the ear to sign. The major result for it is oxygen magnetic. Oxygen is paramagnetic. Attracted by the magnetic field. But does not retain magnetic once it leaves the field. Gaseous oxygen is paramagnetic. Also, but is moving too fast to be affected by the magnets. Okay. I mean, science. That sounds like science. You can go ask our local science expert. Hey, science experts, does that sound like science? I don't know, guys. It doesn't seem like it's science. He doesn't. He doesn't seem super interested in science. That science is questionable at best. Well, you have a mission sometimes, right? Oh. 
Sometimes he wants me to take a picture of the wall next to him. What's down here in the storage alleyway? Oh, I didn't put that there? Oh, I thought I put the fucking thing down there. I thought I put the, uh, the got him. Damn it, I didn't put the got him down there. I got rid of it to put something that wasn't stupid. That's right. I didn't get him. Hey, give me your weeds. Must harvest my plants. Right, I didn't have enough mordite to make four. Wait, this is fun with blisters. Oh, I didn't have enough ammonia. Crap, alright, this is still a problem, actually. I need to find ammonia. Find ammonia is on the list of things I have to do. This is really hard to harvest plants. It is, like, way more... I mean, I guess it's actually kind of hard to successfully harvest plants in real life. You have to be kind of careful about it, so... I suppose it's fitting. It feels annoying, though. Where am I at? Okay, I got most of the stack of... Okay, what does it take... To build the thing. 60 purified, 50 carbon. I think my limiter is carbon. My limiter is carbon. And purified both. Put back the Gotham so you can forget about it like you forgot about Georg. I was thinking I was going to make an additional little area here. Where I grew exactly enough flowers to make like a living glass. But I think we can hold off on that. There's no particular rush on that. The center of the universe is quite some amount of time away. So chat, I realized a thing the other day that was no goose to. It's the hat and time is doing the thing, TM. The DLC is coming out. Uh, why is it so hard to harvest plants? I actually, like, I just straight can't grab this. That's fucking teamwork! Oh. 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 Okay, you gotta grab way to the left of it. There we go. Oh, Inspector! 50 months in a row! Jesus, I keep on forgetting you've been entertaining me for over four years, Mr. Noodlestock. Thank you. You were the shiniest squidling, my dude. Thank you for the four years of support. Glad you're still enjoying the content. I don't think they wanted to be at the corner either. No, I think that's kind of the bad time. The plan is eventually I'll expand this. And I'll have three hydropon hydroponics trays for each plant. We gonna get hydroponic up in here. Just drop the mordite right there. I need ammonia. I can't plant any more fungal mold without ammonia. So I think I'm about to go to the trade station and just kind of... You got any ammonia? Nope. You got any ammonia? Nope. Unless this just happens to have ammonia in it, which it didn't last time, and it doesn't this time. Similar to last time. It also still does not have ammonia. It did not just spontaneously generate ammonia, unfortunately. So what's the thing? What's what thing? Oh, the Hat and Time thing. Oh, yeah. Hat and Time is doing the thing. And the DLC comes out on a freaking Thursday. This Thursday, as a matter of fact. Which is a pain in my buttocks because the whole reason I stream on both Tuesdays and Fridays. And the whole reason I change my schedule to stream on Tuesdays. Because those are the game release days. Tuesday and Friday. I know why I had so many issues streaming today, chat. I know why. I know exactly what happened. You know what happened, chat? Because I know what happened. A game came out. It doesn't matter if I wasn't planning on playing it. A game came out. And it is illegal for me to stream on a game release day. 
apparently, even if I'm not planning on playing the game. St oh, look at these. These all got really cool. Destabilized sodium's a block now, and rare metal element is like UD site recolored, and carbon crystal still looks like poop. That's cool. What's up, Blasted Buddy? Hey, Spoderman came out. Which, by all accounts, looks like it's a real good game, but fuck Sony. So. Not planning on playing that one. And no desires to pick that up. Okay, I think we're done with the freighter for right now. Let me go to the trade station and see if I can locate Ammonios, because I need many Ammonios. Also, could take some Uranium, too. Uranium, would I could use about 450 Uranium, is also a thought. Play Dragon Quest, play Hero Quest. Hero Quest is the best game ever made. Hello. Yes! Evolution has clocked a thousand loops, friend! The very metals and minerals of the worlds are refreshed, echoed by the diets of all strange and splendid beasts. I believe the hex cores have been attracting creatures, nibbling at this anomalous snack. We must observe the effects. Feed our animal friends and search their results for clues. This is joy stuff research we do. Okay. So he wants me to hop in a portal and go collect poop. He wants me to go be a poop scientist. I'm gonna pass on that for the time being. Let's go ahead and do your poop science. Yeah, he just told me to go literally eat shit. So, okay. Oh, this way. This way. There we go. Is that a board game? Hero Quest? Yeah, it is really old. It's a very old board game. By, believe it or not, Games Workshop. Bef I want to say before the original Warhammer. The best thing about Hero Quest is the Barbarian. It's the Broad Sword. The Broad Sword. The Ben Broad Sword. How is it so hard? Okay, uranium. I need uranium. How is it so hard to buy carbon? Isn't carbon like the most common thing that exists? Do you. I'm looking YouTube in my chat, boy! Even if we're admittedly actively talking about that video. Boy! That went to my freighter because I'm stupid. You know, curiosity is overwhelming me, so let's try true randomness. Forever? Oh, it ended. Okay. <laughs> Taraka, thank you for the dollar. Yeah, Brian is ascending to a plane beyond our mortal ken. We cannot understand what drives the Brian. Hey, you got any ammonia? I need to clean out my freighter. Or carbon. How can I not buy carbon? How is this hard? Can also take about 700 oxygen, actually. I need some oxygen, too. Oxygen is the great replicator. Oxygen? Oxygen. Okay, one. Look at soul refractors! Look at this! They made some of their stuff cool looking! What the fuck? That looks awesome! 
And he has ammonia! This is the best! I like this guy. This is my guy right here. This guy right here. This is the dude. TM. This is the dude to end all dudes. What a dude! He's got magnetized ferrite? I don't need any right now, but that's okay. I cap. I cap. Went overboard. I can't count. I bought too much. That's fine. Okay. You just walk up to someone's ship, buy his smelly acid, and scream about how much you love them. I mean, yeah, basically. That's pretty much what happened. That's that's an accurate observation. All right, cool. So I need to go plant those flowers. I need to go plant my extra fungal molds because I've only got two fungal molds growing. So let's head back out to Anus Georg. It's so cool looking. It's so cool looking. Yeah, dude. Oh, I got some of my frigates out, too. I guess I just went out just to buy something. I need to get more frigates. Now that we're never buying a new ship, I need to get more frigates. Although, now that I realize what the potential of base building on a frigate uh, freighter is, maybe this was the best idea. Maybe this was actually the best way to How do you it. know it's sped time at the church? The big hand touches the little hand kappa. Not y'all. Thank you for the dollar. We're back to the origin of the text-to-speech donation bot. Shitty humor. <laughs> Brian hasn't forgotten where he came from. Fungal mold is here. I had like a 50-50. It was this one or the one behind me. Plant some more fungal mold. This can get real moldy. This is the wrong room. We'll go plant some more fungal mold over here where fungal mold goes. We'll go to the right room. Dos fungal moldios. That's Spanish in case you're uninitiated. Beep, beep. Here we go. Five slots for a container five plus times larger than 34 slot backpack. Well, it's 10 slots. Be, you know, it's 20 slots because every one of these is four backpack slots. So it's 20. And on top of that, I'm fairly certain that every one of these also has like a magical super transmitter in it. Because you can... They're like nether chests in Minecraft. All of those that I build ever anywhere are all instantly interconnected and share their inventory. So there's some cool shit going on there. They're pretty fancy little storage containers. But yeah, they do seem really big to have five. Five, I'll actually show you. Our backpack is the weird anomaly. How do I get higher rating thingies? The fight for Baum. I'm gonna go to Baum. It's good the Dingle's still just an A class. I want freaking four star expeditions. I am four star just as. Ooh, I need dihydrogen. Oof. I might have to actually start farming dihydrogen. That hurts my bones. The glitch slots. We don't have glitch slots anymore. Where did this come from? Who is responsible for this? I don't know what I'm selling. I'm selling 120... Actually, no. I'm selling all of it. I'm selling all of my activated indium for half a million. And then I'm going to Chromatic Metal to go collect more. Need more ships. Need more ships. Why? I can already... Those three together are four stars. Like, I kind of figured it was loosely based on how many you had. 
Why did I get this ship? Oh, this one apparently had hidden inventory slots that were fixed. I figured it was loosely, uh... Ah, it wasn't the same as what you needed. Oh, okay. I was like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I, these three can do a four star. In fact, the Spear the Dingle still lives an actual miracle. You are not wrong. Amanya. Amanya. How can you create mushrooms from pure mush? Put it in a fungal mold. We used to have empires run by emperors, then we had kingdoms run by kings. Now we have countries. We all know Albert Einstein was a genius, but his brother Frank was a monster. I hate all of those. Why do you know that I hate all of those? But I was extra primed to hate them because you managed to lead it with an appropriate one. With the fungal mold one while I was planting fungal mold. Taraka, you win this round, my dude. Thank you for the dollar. You you fucking loop this up with that starter. Goddamn. What a champion. Why did I come here? I was gonna teleport to chromatic battle, but I came here for another reason. I want to give this Corvax casing to somebody. This is a Viking system. Why'd I come here? Have I even bought like the inventory in this system or did I just jump here by the freighter? And what, what system am I in? Where are we? This is Outland. Okay, we're in Outland. I'm like, where the fuck am I? Cause I was gonna work on building a base and then we got really distracted. Where's the second terminal? And then we got really distracted by the fact that we can build a base on the freighter. Which I'm not gonna get distracted again by right now. Seriously, I'm amazed at how hard it is to find carbon. This looks so cool now. Cobalt mirrors are- uh, a mirror means prism, apparently, first of all. We don't know the difference between mirror and prism. But second of all... I guess the prism is a series of mirrors. Kind of. Speaking of squid, are you gonna go off your normal time? I'll go a little longer, but I can't go much longer. I, I, I can't go a whole lot longer in my normal stop time. I am sorry. That but the internet has failed us this day. I need to get on the freaking butt nugget. Gotta do some stuff though. We got steps for you. Tate, 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 my dude, keeping the old memes alive. It's weird to me that the best joke in all of the Stanley Parable wasn't in the Stanley Parable. The best joke in all of the Stanley Parable was in the demo. It was eight. Nothing in the Stanley Parable top eight. They blew their load immediately before we even got into the real game. I'm itchy everywhere. My whole body is itchy. Probably on account of all the meth. Absolute units received. So I got my activator dandium back. Just a free half a million. Pretty good to. Okay to me, you're pretty much just a stripper with us throwing singles for laughs, aren't you? I mean, yeah. It's like a stripper if you just laughed at a stripper instead of got blue balled. Okay, we're gonna have a fun little fucking thought exercise, Chad. It's not so much a thought exercise, and yes, it's stripper related, so prepare yourselves. Somebody The big parade somebody explain to me 
strippers. Because I don't get it. That's possible it's largely because I'm asexual, so of course I wouldn't get it. But, like strip clubs especially. Why do you go spend a bunch of money at a place to just get blue ball? Like, it's not like you can do anything. What's, what's the point? What's the appeal? Because I don't understand. The same reason people donate hundreds to Twitch thoughts. Fair. It's also a thing, I suppose. Twitch thoughts are definitely a thing. A thing that will not be gone. There we go. I get that private time material somewhere. Yeah, but it's like the internet exists. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't get it. People are so deprived, they'll pay someone to blue ball them so they can sinfully beat off later. That might be all there is to it, really. People donate money to Squid. Does that make him a Twitch thought? You got me there. I'm a, I'm a stream, I'm a stream thought. I'm the king of thoughts. Like so many things is pretty much obsolete and held afloat only by boomers. Is that accurate though? Is that accurate? Because I don't think the, I mean, I'm sure a lot of it is, but I don't think the entire patronage of strip clubs is people over the age of 65. Sure, there's a bunch of that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of younger, like my age and younger dudes, peruse the strip joints. And I just, I don't understand the appeal. I just don't get it. I don't know anyone my age who would go to strip clubs, actually. I had co-workers take me out to strip clubs on, like, my 21st birthday. Would I seek out again? Not really, but I let myself enjoy myself while that happened. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, if you're there, when in Rome, I just don't get why, like... Because you got dragged to one, so obviously you got buddies who feel like that is a good time. I just don't understand. It's like, it is categorically, especially- Is this how I donate to the Twitch thought? <laughs> you just saw so yes, John. Fuck you. Yes, it is. Uh, it's categorically like sitting down and watching porn with your friends with just the mutual agreement that none of you are going to start beating off. Like, I don't understand the appeal. Like, I like hanging out with my Pathfinder buddies, but I don't really want to sit down and watch some porn with Derp and Manchop. It doesn't sound like a good time, really. I don't understand the appeal. I just got here. What the actual fuck is this conversation? Uh, we're just discussing strip clubs and why they exist. You know, the average late night Squiddish stream experience, apparently. I don't know how we got on this topic. I just realized I don't understand why strip clubs exist. I don't I don't get the appeal of strip clubs at all. Circle to is still, still on later, you know it, baby. Seriously though, I don't get it. I know people who get to go to jerk off and watch porn. Yeah, well, I mean Market for everything. There is weirder stuff on the internet. I need... Oh, can I just summon the anomaly again? Because there's a community event going. Maybe? Wow, oh, yeah, I can. Cool, okay. There's a community event. I can summon the butthole now. We have no mods. All these great quotes we've been missing for like a year. I probably get another mod. At least, like, another mod. Show us your wiener. Oh, wait. 
You can't. Your girlfriend stole it and left you in Florida to die. Thought. Dollar dollar. Nothing in that statement was incorrect. Thank you for the dollar. Hey, Twitch thought. It's me. Local neighborhood Twitch thought getting fucking singles thrown at him. Well, he runs around in space and discusses strip gloves. Oh, I know what we can do. Even if I don't want to go do the actual event right now, I know what we can do. We can see what's new in the, uh, the store here. What's new? How about a quote if somebody needs to say what the quote, but it's so fucking rare. I see. Okay, this is here. What we got that's new? Oh, there's four pages now. At the point and laugh emote. Oh. We can get a polo decal. We can put polo. Also, walker statues are pretty cool. Oh, my God, a golden one's bigger. This is a dope helmet. Holy shit, that's a cool helmet. It's also 3,000 bucks over. That's a cool ass helmet. Fucking Gex statues. All right, so we got Gex statues. We got Walker statues. We got the Nada and Polo decals, and we got the Blazing Orbit helmet, which looks really cool, and the high emote. So they doubled the amount of stuff. Each one of these weekly events is gonna add an emote, a helmet. Not quite double. There were three decals last time. Two statues and two or three emotes. And you get Quicksilver the community events. Which I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do the community event tomorrow since we have a really short, super late stream tonight. And I'm in the market for a cool gun again, because my gun looks like poop's ad. Hey, Polo. My trip was... It's really probably been Discovery, honestly. It'll be building a base and finding the grand. Give me your useless piece of garbage. All those systems, those stars, such time spent between worlds. Living in the light. Your warp data was fascinating, friend. Shall we continue our work together? Does Polo look different? Was Polo a brass-eyed blue hamster before? I think... Polo used to look like the sticker. He was green and had regular looking eyes. I'm almost positive Polo was green. Yeah, he looked like the decal. This is this is zombie Polo. It's like Sylvanas got her dead little hands around Polo's throat and now he's forsaken. Anyway, I miss the dirt, friend. The worlds on which I once walked. I miss the sounds of birds and beasts. Even my data, even my recordings are gone as if they had never been. Everything's broken and sad. When I next return, I can restock their archives and parts on a multitude of strange creatures. I will show them all a world has to offer. I've definitely done that already. I'm just gonna... I just won't do this, I guess. It's stupid to not. I'll put the tech module somewhere. Have room for oxygen. Not really. I hang on to it, though. It'll get used for something eventually. Okay. There you go, buddy. I scanned a bunch of animals. I probably only had to scan up one whole animal. One whole planet of animals. One whole animal! We browse the creature scans. We find ourselves cooing and laughing together in some of the stranger species. Is that accurate? I don't know if we do actually do that, but okay. Go ahead and put words in my mouth, asshole. They offer me a technology of their own design. What? flavor of garbage do we want today my dudes let's take a c-class shield or a b-class life support let's go with another b-class life support and i'll just have technology forever i gotta keep progressing this because let's take it the atlas passes another b-class life support module boom baby that's what i'm looking for yeah i definitely do that yeah he's not wrong I look at the super adorable animals and I laugh at some of the stupid looking animals all the time. Give me one second. I got a email I got to look at real quick. Like, Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. How's a B class last for every single time? Because it's not random. Uh, it's supposed to be hard to get A and S class modules, but it's hard. They made it hard by making all the quest rewards just always be ranked garbage, so I don't really know why they bother doing this. I'm poor again. I'll fight a fucking. I'll fight a bounty for 300,000 units and probably die. I'm poor again. Could I be a bad person and possibly ruining a GM's life? Not yours, but another one. What are you doing? What are you doing, man, Josh? That was two of them, first of all. I'm turning radius of the gods here. Fucking King Lord Jukenstein. Shield regenerate a little bit. Get some shield regen. That dude literally just tanked. He flew around in a circle while the other one shot me. I should probably go for the other one. I should probably do that. It does depend entirely on what you're doing to the, uh, the GM. One of my co workers in a homebrewed Pathfinder campaign. He wants, keeps wanting to do dumb shit. I keep enabling him to do said dumb shit by providing him with knowledge. What? Not what I wanted. How'd they do spawn? Oh, that's too far away. I, was, I got too far away trying to figure out how I saw my stupid freighter. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Yeah, you're just telling him his options. Nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong with that. Perfectly normal. You're just helping out your buddy. But yeah, you're probably giving somebody a pretty bad time. I want to summon us like right outside the uh, station here. Just be at least some amount away from the thing. Oh, that's actually fine. Okay. Can't park in front of the door, but I can park off this side, I guess. Okay. I need... Can I rotate the Frederick? You rotate its position by rotating where you're facing, because it calls in relative to your facing. Work to here. You can literally see us now. Yeah, but come closer. <laughs> All right. What do we want to do? We only got like... We only got like an hour. What do we want to do? Could find an explorer skilled representative. That sounds like not a bad idea. We'll progress the main story quest. We can do that. Main story is main, and maybe we can find someone who wants this Corvax casing thingy up here. It's a bit of being cleric. I didn't ban you being a cleric. You wanted to use a whole bunch of weird third party, like, optional shit. Band you doing a bunch of weird shit with a cleric. It's not where anybody ever does. And then band you being a cleric. Band you being a dumbass. Oh, there's the planet. No details, I'm memeing. Oh, there's the third planet. Toxic planet! They killed a pair of dire lions and found the six cups they had. He's a druid, they have a ranger, so they kept them and prepping all their spells like calm animals and stuff to keep them under control. Upon hearing this, I introduced him to spell anthropomorphic animal. I don't I'm not familiar with that spell. But I'm gonna assume just based on the name. Fuck kick your shit out of me, really just that. Piece of crap. 
Wait, the mask, the one that lets you fuck monsters in shell. What happened to this good Christian chat room? What happened? We were doing so good, and that's just been hookers and animal fucking for the last, like, 30 minutes. They say a man's Twitch chat is a reflection of himself. They're wrong. They are so wrong. The station's really pink. You know what about up strip clubs? Yeah, but I had a reason. That makes it better, right? Like, there was definitely a reason I browsed with drops. What's up, Burning Tradesman? We have almost two entire hours of training today. I'm not gonna pull his fucking wires. What if put some of the interaction out? Just tug on his wires. Damn it, he wants a convergence cube. Oh, we can always find more manufactories, too. Hey, you know where a factory is, by chance? Nope. Just did a guy for directions. Someone show me where a factory is. Factory. Drop pod's not really a place of interest. I mean, it kind of is. Ooh. Ooh, baby. The double quota roo. How would you guys like some quotes with your quotes? Unmod him so I can ban him. Hexy ham! It's okay, Hexy, I'll fix it later. The arrival of the traveler is anticipated. You are not ready yet. We must know you are the one we seek. Blah, blah, blah. Scripted do quest for the Explorer's Guild. It's kind of annoying if they make me, uh... I'm already really high rank on these skills, but they make me do two quests with them each specifically. Because I guess 50 hours into the game was when they planned on introducing doing missions as a concept or something. Okay. I need explorer skill missions. Kill a lot of creatures. That's so many creatures. You really just hate that other things are alive. Scan five plants. And collect 50 cactus flesh. And kill 13 creatures. And kill a predator. I can do these things. Well, I guess we'll just go land on the desert, drop our signal scanners, start trying to find manufactorums, and then just go from there, I guess. Do I still have to take photos of a desert? I do still have to take photos of a desert. Yeah, we'll go land on the desert, finish a bunch of shit immediately, and maybe that'll finish that up. Just instantly. See how this goes. Grant this resident mod for not wanting to go make fucking seafood. Then come back and tell you what good it is because you have done. It's okay. You know what? I'm okay with this for right now. And do you know why? Dost thou postulate as to the cause? Does he have tortellini? I do have tortellini. Pretty low on sauce, though. But... Grand Arter made pizza. Hostile scan detected. I am being so enabled. What kind? I don't know. She won't tell me. I have no idea. She could meet me. It could be pineapple on pizza. Because she won't tell me what she, uh, she bought me. Which implies that I'm going to be memed. Alright, I'm looking for a manufactory or cacti. I will land for a manufactory or cacti. Manufactory or cacti. Let's 
cacti. Flopping down. That's a lot of cacti, actually. You guys want like a billion cactuses? Let's go. Is that gonna be that streamer food service all over again where it's just bread ordering pizza daily? Oh my god, look at the dihydrogen crystals! Everything looks so much better! They did a big, like, cosmetic pass. They made a ton of shit look better. I had a, a fucking farm with some of this. No one ever sells this shit. Not to imply that I checked, but no one ever sells this shit. Go get him, foots. Didn't fix salt and chlorine. It did not, no. It did not fix salt and chlorine, that's correct. Not been asked a bunch, but Squid can play Spider Man. No, I am not. The game looks pretty cool. Probably a real good time. It's PS4 exclusive, and I no longer wish to support Sony. Which I would hope at this point in 2018 is just understandable by now. I'm going to lead by example, Jet. Because the reason the games industry has gotten as bad as it has is because everybody just rolls over and takes whatever a game dev wants to do to them. We, as a group, gamers, have literally no ability to stand up to devs. We just take it. We just fucking take it. So I'm gonna lead by example. Do I want to play Spider-Man? Absolutely. It looks dope. But I'm not going to. Because I'm not gonna support Sony's shitty business practices. And hopefully... By my example... Maybe somebody else will decide to stand up to not even necessarily Sony, but some other shitty gaming company that they don't want to support their crappy practices anymore. By our powers combined, maybe we do something. Because this is the kind of shit we gotta do. Yeah, if, if, if Spider-Man launched, if it comes out and they're like, hey, Spider-Man's coming to PC, I am absolutely playing Spider-Man. That game looks really, really good. I'm standing my ground, shit! I'll take it. I'll be sad. I'll just be sad and not play it. Holy crap, what am I scanning? Oh, it's a rock. I need to scan the more plants. I'm proud of you. I mean, well, this is like, this is just what we gotta do. Because how everything got this bad is us seriously just letting devs get away with anything. Because it got to the point where EA's like, hey, we're gonna, we'll sell you 30% of a game for $80 and the rest of it's all lock, line, loot box and this game is fundamentally unplayable in those microtransactions. Then we're just like, yeah, that's terrible, but the game looks cool and I wanna play it. And good devs know that. Devs know the reaction's gonna be, yeah, that sucks, but this game looks cool and I wanna play it. Like, Shenmue 36 purchasing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Because it's Star Wars, he's like, well, it looks cool and it has Star Wars on it, so I bought it. And I. I'm a streamer. I make my living entertaining the masses, you lot. And if I'm not gonna live, I'm not even gonna do that. Like, if this is my whole job, is to be the shittiest role model that's ever existed. And I'm just like, yeah, Sony's a piece of shit, but man, Spider Man looks cool. If I'm not gonna fucking ram myself in, how could. Well, like, how can I get mad at anyone else for not doing it, right? 
right? Let's see if this works again. Hey, this works again. So just kind of in general, I would really like to not support console exclusives at all. But of the consoles that have exclusives, I'm not supporting PS4 anymore. And I'm, I'm, I'm weak. I can't tell Nintendo to go fuck itself. Like, I want to. But I can't. Nintendo is strong. Nintendo is mighty. I can't tell Nintendo to just go fuck itself. It's too good, my dudes. They got me with that one. Are there burbs, by the way? Can I get like 100,000 for scan and a burb? No? Okay. I want to play Let's Go Eevee so bad. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo's kind of got the excuse that they're Japanese and... Like, is it? That's like the weirdest, shittiest question. Is it racist if it's accurate? Like, Japanese game devs just don't really care about customer experience. Beyond selling games. And what the fuck are these? Organic rocks. And they just don't care to support like online services, either their own online services or like Twitch and YouTube and content creators. It's just it, like, it's a cultural thing. It just is. But it's 2018, I feel like I'm racist for stating things that are clearly true. What is this? Hell yeah. Balls of Mordite? Hell yes! That's awesome. What well, I feel like he's killed a family. That's yeah, pop pointed. Okay, I want to go land at both these places because I need to get their marks on my map. You only have so many marks at a time. Yeah, it's just it's just a cultural thing. So like Nintendo, I mean I'm aware Sony is also Japanese, but Sony's not shitty in the like just Japanese game devs are different kind of way. Sony is shitty in their own entire fucking sweep of unique and exciting ways. Will you land? Sideways, I guess? I just don't want to support Sony anymore. Lead from the front. We have been- I've circled the fucking wagon here for way longer than I need to. The point is, no, I'm not gonna play Spider-Man unless it comes to another console. If it comes to another system, maybe. While it is a Sony exclusive, I have no intention of playing it. I actually like some nanite data. So now I get nanite clusters because of course I do. Isn't that a second room? Yeah, my my tipping points to crossplay thing. They lost me at the crossplay. Those of you who haven't heard. I'm sure you're all aware that uh, console crossplay has never really been a thing. Outside of, I believe, there have been a couple of tiny little niche situations. But console crossplay has largely never been a thing. And it's been different people's, different companies' faults for different reasons throughout the years. Uh, back in the Xbox 360, PS3 generation, I know we just have this conversation, but I'm, I'm going to be brief this time. That, oh, they like have the duration of that animation. That's nice. Back then, nobody really wanted to crossplay, and Sony was kind of like, I mean, we we we'll try it. We'll try it. And this was all coming immediately in the hind of 
PlayStation Network getting completely hacked, all accounts being compromised, like tens of thousands of people having their fucking account information stolen, and PSN going down for like five months. And Microsoft stopped it, because they were just like... Network security, though. And didn't want crossplay with Sony's comedically insecure network. A bummer, but I feel like that's a pretty legitimate reason to shut down crossplay. Now, move us to the grim, dark future of 2018. PSN is much better now. Yeah, I still don't think it's as good as Xbox Live, but it's better. And civilization has advanced. And the question of crossplay came up once again. Uh, specifically, high in a high profile recent past. With Fortnite. Where Epic's like, hey, my game is literally more popular than your entire service platform. I'm bigger than you. Let's do crossplay. And Microsoft's like, alright, PSN shaped up. Cool. Let's do some crossplay. And Nintendo. Fucking Nintendo. For shit's sake. It's like, oh, yeah, okay. Let's do crossplay with PC. And Sony steps in the room, stroking the fucking crumbs out of their neck beard, seven chins a wiggling. Actually! The PlayStation 4 is the best experience for gamers. So we're not going to allow crossplay with your lesser peasant systems. Because we're better than you. And, uh, Sony fanboys were like, no, that's not the reason. It's not because Sony literally thinks they're better than everyone. They're not, that's not why they're doing it. And then Sony came out and was like, actually, our own fanboys. No, literally, seriously, that's exactly the reason we're not doing it. Those are the words that came from our mouth holes. So. As a matter of fact, Epic, it's come to my attention that you've had a glitch that allows crossplay on our platform with Microsoft's inferior system, and we're suing you. Also, if you've ever played Fortnite on PS4, your account is held hostage by Sony forever. Because we're definitely the better system, obviously, and we are in no way afraid that if we let people play this game on other systems, they'll never come back. Definitely not afraid of that at all. We're locking your game to our system for your own safety. Your account's in baby jail forever. Like, I don't even play Fortnite now, man. <laughs> I don't even play Fortnite now, man. Sony's a disgusting company. And they've always been a disgusting company. I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing it. Putting my foot down. Not supporting me. And I'm not trying to say, like, Microsoft or Nintendo are shining paragons of what could be. But Sony is a terrible company. And now, Bethesda came up. Excuse me, Sony? Uh, we'd like crossplay for Fallout 76. <laughs> this lesser peasant company wants crossplay of our video game. But! I have heard whisperings... The Fallout 76 may pull out of PS4 entirely if they don't allow crossplay. Go fucking get him, Todd Howard. The shining knight in glorious golden armor. Todd Howard, of all fucking people, rides in the battle to defend mankind. I don't think they'll do that. I don't think they'll stick with that, but it'd be really cool if they did. It'd be really cool if uh, Bethesda stood up and said, Crossplay or go fuck yourself, Sony, and didn't release it for PS4, but I'm sure they will. But I can live the dream. In our darkest hour, he came. The 
this music though in the background. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see uh, how that whole thing shakes out, I suppose. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm just I'm just done. I'm just done, man. I'm just tired. You can ask Hexy if you guys want a literally infinite amount of stories about how shitty Sony is as a company. Ask Hexy. Because the only reason Hexy even owns a PS4 is for her job. She needs to. Or she would also... She has long since been in the never support Sony boat. And I am far too late joining her. Alright. Lead from the front. I'll take this bullet. I'm not gonna play Spider-Man. Lead from the front. What jobs do we have to require PS4? Game testing. She does a lot of, uh, like, development build and pre-alpha game testing. Oh, right. I have access to... Simply infinite dihydrogen because I forgot about the jelly duplication. You should simply go do that. That good answer, dudes. Anyway. I feel like I cheated my limited bounties of Monster Hunter World this week. What'd you do? I still have to do a bunch of Valzaks. I've done two Valzaks and I need, I'm just gonna do a uh, flash in the pan as many times I have to do six stars. You can do a bunch of flash in the pans. Nah, beta, fuck yeah. The Xbox controller is 500% better than the PS4. I fucking hate the PS4's controller. Added bonus, if I wait for Spider-Man on literally any other system, if it ever comes to other systems, I don't have to play it on a fucking PS4 controller. Benefit of boycotting Sony. I never have to put the PS4 controller in my hands again. Alright, where's my ship? Where's my car? I have five refiners so specifically for the repeatable. 500 generation dihydrogen. Yeah, I need to do that. I when I have like a real, real boy base, a lot of my factory will be that. I tagged the high rank raid Jagus investigation as a joke because it was two gold rewards. Ancient forest check, six star check. Fair enough. That just sounds like efficiency, my dude. Okay, manufacturums. Yeah, I'd never even have a PS4 if it wasn't for Bloodborne. I mean, I got value out of it. I played Bloodborne. I played God of War. It was pretty fun. Horizon Zero Dawn was overall pretty fun. But I was even thinking this after Horizon Zero Dawn. Even before the huge pile of horrible shit Sony sent after that. Here's a big boy question. Bloodborne 2 happens, did you play it? No. What part of boycotting Sony are you not understanding? I will not. Oh, well, it did remind me I never actually used the thing in here. Because I don't know what an operation... What does an operation center even do? Uh-oh. Warning! Blah, 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 time. Blah, 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 blah. I rapidly flicked through alien warnings to discover what's brought the facility offline. All too late, I realize I'm doing the exact same thing again. And again. I've done this before. Many times. Either of these could be time. Reset clock seems... Too easy. That seems... I loop in time for several days. The automated process eventually rescues me. Yeah, we felt it. I'm like, I had to go for the meme. 
I knew exactly one word in there. Surely it's not just gonna give me exactly the same fucking base a third time. Surely it will scan a different base if these will function at all for the fact that I am expending resources to do this. I think it was because I hadn't used it yet. Which makes sense, I hadn't used it yet. An automated process saved me. Yeah, I was apparently stuck in a fucking time loop. Just got time loop. Feels bad. Was it impossible to see out of the front of my ship before? I feel like first person used to be usable. Ah, shit. I like this part where it's not shooting where I'm aiming. That's pretty cool. Oh, they don't automatically put it in my inventory, though. That's, that's nice. Oh, that looks like we cracked up in five of them. What do I have to do to make it stop showing up, though, is the question. Oh, so this is a glitch, I guess? Sorry, it's a nice guy. Can I hit them all? So what do I have to do? I think I have to land. I think I gotta land to make that marker go away. I don't really want to land, because that's gonna take a landing field for no reason. Hero power in the mode. We'll leave that there, I guess. So we can find a manufacturing facility on our own. Or really any landing area. We gotta wait out a firestorm anyway. Drop pod. We don't need a drop pod, though. Drop pods are not useful until much later, I believe. There's nothing about my upgrades that's that expensive yet. It's way more effort to do the drop pod than it is to just buy a slot and make that much money back. Oh, I added a new dancing emote, guys. Technically. There's a slightly new BTTV dancing emote because I saw it in Crypt Chat and thought to myself, I need to have that immediately. So I uh, got it immediately. I don't remember what the code is, but it's another dancing Pepe. It's like Pepo dance, but raving. It's the difference between Ditto and Ditto Pride. There it is, Jasteron's got it. Jasteron's got it. Look at him go. It's the Pepo rave. And fun fact, here is the best fucking part, my dudes. If you put the raving Papo next to the regular Papo, they dance at slightly different speeds. So they're just jamming out. Just jamming. Twitch mobile feels bad, man. It's extra feels bad, man, because you know feels bad, man, but you can't see it. Look at them, they dance at different speeds. Pixel Rave Papo danced at a different speed from the original Papo. Not saying any manufacturers, or rather any landing pads at all, I think. But what's really funny is this is actually lagging my chatty really bad. <laughs> I don't know if any of them shine weirdly when I Look at him go. Dude, the type out feels bad, man. That is a super feels bad, man. Oop. Oh, it's not a landing point. Derp, I got some more info about our glorious Pathfinder plans. Also, Manshot, because I know you're here too, but I just saw Derp talking, I remember. 
I got some more info for our Pathfinder scheming ways. Or that I will share with you when I go offline here in probably like 30 minutes or so. I will give you what I got. I just see people screaming the word dance. I will admit, No Man's Sky does look significantly better despite the game being one big glitch. It is much better. It's dramatically improved. But it's still a broken pile of trash. It's a broken pile of trash. But it's a really fun broken pile of trash with nearly infinite stuff to do. Was this info found like a path? Yeah, I did find it like a path. I did, in fact, find it, as if one would find a path. Uh, this is the one that just scrolls. This is going to be 6533. Thank you. And this just shows me a ruin, usually. This usually just shows you a ruin. Yep. Kind of ruins are cool, I guess. On a different planet. Okay. I'm no longer there. They literally can't show me the same thing. How many... I have two nav data left. I'm going to pop them both. We have found zero many factories today so far. I just want more recipes. Give me manufacturing facilities. I want to learn to make G-O-D sites. That's what I wanted. I will stop screaming at me. The names of some of the emotes are funny, just being like dance and stuff. Give me another one. Do I hear two? Ooh, that takes her to load up. Two. Dos! Do! Broke. All right, cool. We got exactly three scans out of this for broke again. I'm glad that this thing works almost four whole times in a row before breaking completely. Hey, real quick, let me just send you guys what info I have. It's looking good. It's looking good, team. It's looking good, Pathfinders. Windows noise. I'm gonna put this in our super secret group chat where we discuss super secret group things. There you go. Be curious. Go ahead and peruse that. He has psychics, but he predicted the windows. Nice. I'm a magical wizard. Joe fix roll 20 yet. Uh, so he claims. So he claims. I think it's because I have four things marked. I have two alien ruins. I have a manufacturing facility and a supply depot, so it failed me. To collect more nav data. Ooh, this one looks different than they usually do. Okay, so they always look exactly the same. I love and regret getting invested in the Pathfinder sessions because now I feel empty inside until the next Wednesday. Dude, that is the highest praise I can give. You're waiting with bated breath for the adventures to continue. I really need a name. I really need to come up with a name for this for this podcast, guys. Still thinking, I'm still hard, the hard one and the perception check. I think it'd just be hard one, not the hard one. I think hard one and the perception check. Or a perception check. Are still the best I have. Or for the podcast, I don't, it's not going to be just for this, uh, it's not literally just for this campaign. It's going to be the thing we have for all of them. This will be the title of everything with, uh, to everyone we've ever done and everyone we do in the future. Hard one's gonna get it. Yeah. A hard one out of context, I guess. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Perception check's pretty good, though. Virus warning. Quarantine that bitch. Boop. I learned to make a cobalt mirror. I can make a rainbow meteor now. Not what I was looking for, but we'll take it. What about two perception? I could just call it two perception. 
Okay, I think this will work now that I took one of the markers off my map. And before fucked. And fucked. No, it's scanned. Is it scanned or did it just fuck me, though? Oh my. Did it detect the same one? Murr! That's what I want. The inside inside jokes and team perception fallout meme. Two perceptions pretty good. Two perceptions pretty good. And yeah, we've got a perfect emote for it too. Cause I've been looking at other podcast names. Obviously there's critical role. Oh it gets cold at night in deserts. That's really cool. It's critical role. There's a uh, glass cannon. This one is called D20. They're all like just references to tabletop activities. I don't want to be. Here's the thing on Critical Fail. I don't want to name it Critical Anything. Just because of the affiliation with Critical Role. I mean, I'm aware, obviously, I can. Obviously, they didn't copyright the word Critical. And it wouldn't be a problem, but I don't want that uh, affiliation because if we call the cast critical anything, the affiliation's immediately going to be critical. Oh, critical fail and rolling ones are both taken. I mean, well, it's not a zero something necessarily. I do like perception check a lot though. Call it critically unaffiliated. Because those of you who have been around for a long time, rip, rip, first of all, I have to pay respects. But uh, I actually had a personal interaction with Total Biscuit one time because I used to make a Gotham City Imposters YouTube series called uh, What the Fuck Is This Loadout? where people would recommend a just either random shit pile or like weird build idea they had in Gotham City Imposters. And I had a billion people go screaming to Total Biscuit that I copied WTF is, which I'd never, I actually had never heard of it before. That was how I heard of Total Biscuit, was people going screaming at Total Biscuit that I copied WTF is. And he, uh, he tweeted out a thing that basically said, You're all idiots. These are completely different things. The names are distinct, and you would have to actually be dumb to get them confused. There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> and so that was when I learned that Total Biscuit's actually a pretty cool dude. He was a real cool dude. I do not know enough words to have any idea what the kind of answer is here. A backup procedure has come to a standstill. The system's archiving a huge amount of language data that's run out of memory to allocate. And attach my multi-tool and requires some variety of metal to re-engage the process. I have no idea. I would need one of these words in the second sentence to have a hint. I love that Lola in this instance is also Total Biscuit. And Lola's literally Total Biscuit, for those of you who don't know. So... <sighs> Pure ferrite would make sense. Because I'm not gonna- you probably don't stick a magnet in a computer <laughs> to re-engage a hard drive. And I also probably don't salt base some dust in there. So, logically, it'd be pure ferrite, right? Woo! I'm smart! Oh, it just taught me words. And starships and back. Another two Corvax words. Put a Twitch out on just for times like this. What do you mean? Easy hack to fix fuzzy VHS video, just run them back to the video to real hunts. <laughs> uh, 
I love Woody Steve. Woody Steve is the best track in Don't Starve. Don't at me. There are two crash freighters and two secure manufacturing facilities. Four total in a little line right here. The quick click vote thingy. Oh, for podcast titles? No, I'm just taking ideas. I don't give a shit about what they vote for. I'm just trying to see if anyone's going to get a better idea than the perception check. Or two perception. I think I'm leaning towards two perception right now. Also, I definitely can't run that over really well. I'm running up by the Mansky. I guess which option. What if, why don't I just ignore what Chat Chat says and pick the right option because I'm the best? Two perception is actually really good. I actually really like two perception. Power disruption. The small creature is scrambling through the wiring below me. Woken by the security alert. Its choice of nesting location was on rise. I can't regain control until it's been removed from the system. I don't feel like frying it is going to help me. This, then it is still going to be there. It's just going to be electrocuted. That does not make this situation any better. A rat crawling around in the power supply or a dead toasted rat crawling around the power supply are equally problematic and one of them is probably necromancy. Flush your production network. I was actually supposed to electrocute him, holy shit. Who could have predicted such absolute lack of logic? I was actually supposed to electrocute him. That's what I get for trying to use logic in No Man's Sky, where salt is one atom and chlorine is two. System was bloodthirsty and needs to sacrifice. Logic in my video games. Oh, you can see two Crash Traders on the screen right now. And a third sight! To the west! Why is there so much stuff here? That's not a fucking lighting room. I want to get a good base before I start replicating. I am going to do some hydrogen replicating, though. Sure. I do need more core backs, we're having a hard time doing. I need to go to a GEC system to do manufacturing facility hunting, because I know more GEC words than anything else. I'm getting screwed by not knowing any core back words. I'm getting really hosed by not knowing core back words. Was this the one I was just in? I don't feel like this is the one I was just in. No, because the door is facing the landing pad. That's never happened before. This is a third one. The perception crew gonna be swapping 2E after one for the crowd. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Possibly. I w uh, second edition is interesting. I'm definitely not opposed to it. I also think I'm going to once again change our death rules. And I'm just gonna completely ape second edition Pathfinder because those rules are fantastic and there's no reason not to use exactly those. We're gonna use exactly second edition death rules now. You go down, you start making death saves, um, and you have to build up to four. High orbital blank. Damn it! My intrusion the network. My intrusion has led to the work underway and the primary terminal being scrambled. It's a jumble of words. You think what's visible, I can read with the overseer's workflow and get systems online. I got two of the three words, and we're still fucked. What do you think a Hudo Gorsmanov is? Sounds like a Russian satellite to me.
I got six nanite closeties. Uh, I got Corvex rep. Okay, that was that was one that gives you a weird pile of stuff. That repped me up with Corvex. That's probably a lot of Corvex rep. I hear a dog finger attacking from outside. They can definitely clip the walls and hit you. Because this is fucking no man's sky, of course they can. I got a gift for you. Okay. Tentatively curious. Welcome, Squidling, to the Squiddy Pool. I hope it wasn't that you were gonna sub. <laughs> oh, that was so fast! That was the fastest I've ever seen somebody get dunked. <laughs> RJ plays video games. Welcome to Squiddy Pool, my dude. Take this hat! You are the shiniest squiddling, my guy. Enjoy your buff pile. Gets has been fucking, he was like on that button. He was leaning on the counter, just Just waiting. Just fucking waiting. I knew I have another one of these. Sorry, I had two of these. Chad, am I, am I dumb? Didn't I have another one of these, like, super recently? Am I a stupid idiot? I mean, I'm, I am a stupid idiot, but what kind of stupid idiot am I? <laughs> Hello, RJ plays video games. I love when they get dunked before they get the high end new notification. Git says you're here now. The fuck did I just join until I love it? Welcome to Squiddy Pool. It's a. Uh, Wretched hive of scum and idiocy. I wish I could put these busted... No, there's literally nothing in here. Okay, I don't know what's up with these rooms. These rooms are interesting, but I can't interact with anything in this one. I truly do not understand why I continue to sub to Squib and I can just, like, get to it for me. If I have me and Steam, I got you a gift. I'm still suspicious. I'm still suspicious. But you have... Successfully piqued my interest. Ah, right. The Steam Friends thing now is super weird and I don't understand it. This is memes or bait? How do I even do this? They they changed the whole Steam Friends list, Steam Friends list thing and it's spooky now and scary and I don't know what's happening. But my raw curiosity is going to lead me to take what may possibly be bait. Okay, I can't get Steam to open. <laughs> I can get the friends thing to open. But I can't get Steam itself to open. So if you send Squidish a request on Steam, I will accept it out of sheer curiosity. Oh my god, the planet's on fire. Why are they punching my boat? Fuck off! One hundred friends open. I think my Steam name is Squiddish. If they hadn't sent me a friend request already, I think it's because they didn't try. I like my Steam account is is available as a link in a variety of places. I don't hide that. Although I may actually just get a hundred friend request now because I have to. I don't know what to accept <laughs> unless it's also actually a place where you can't find Steam. <sighs> Yeah, but how do you accept them? The secret is to never look at them. But they don't have to worry about it. The only reason I don't accept anybody is because... Oh, you're the boom gunshots, okay. It's because I, we found out... I used to accept everybody. And we found out there's actually a hard limit on number of friends you can have in Steam because we hit that limit. So that's why I made the Steam group. Alright. If I'm gonna be memed, it's a coming. 
I really shouldn't do this here. I should not do this here. I don't know any Viking words. Or Corvax words. Enthusiastic gilded blobs on screen wearing a mask with a central colored light. Energetic jetpacks around an alien activate. Alphabet. It makes a demand. Common element trade vaults open. Well, I know Viking. I have literally no idea. This could be... This... This could be anything. Okay. Carbis the cheapest. I am so good at video games. I'm the best. Okay. We learned how to make another one of those friggin' upgrades. We can do the one for mining expeditions now. Cool. Neat. Also, I learned the geck word for gas. And or! Holy shit, that's a word that would ever come up in conversation. You can't teach me that. We can't learn con conjunctions. We might have functioning sentences happening soon. A preposition that is is or a preposition? I'm pretty sure or is a conjunction. I'm almost positive or is a conjunction. Not a preposition. And I know that. I know that. One thousand percent exclusively because of the Conjunction Junction song. <laughs> and I'm glad that so many people in chat also immediately went to that because I feel less stupid. Hey, do you mind if I get to game? I actually don't. I'm surprised less squidlings joined my game because I just have my No Man's Sky thing open in public to be joinable. Oh, you have an in-game gift. I see. I probably don't want this because while I appreciate whatever you have, I do want to earn my own money and whatnot. So if you're coming to like hand me $10 million, I appreciate it, but I actually don't want it. I want to earn myself a ship and whatnot, but I'm... Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've had this on public forever. It's like, Squidlings, you, you can totally join this game. I don't mind. I've never said anything about it, I guess. But, like, I've had my game open. And I'm actually really surprised that nobody's just joined it as of yet. Nobody's just jumped in. I thought having it open, people just would. Okay. I don't want to use navigation data on a Corvax planet anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know any Corvaxian. I'm having a tough time with this. Let's fly over here and start turning some cactuses. No, so I can't. Yeah, I mean, I guess I was worried about it before. But since they added these options, which I should all be on no one. Since they added these options here, I really don't care. Anyone can join this. I mean, I don't know what that actually does, other than you can just kind of come hang out. I have my Jack Ryan bits. 400 bits from Chiyal. Thanks, my dude. Appreciate the bit bomb. I gotta get off here in like 5 or 10 minutes. Because I gotta be ready for the pizza gang. Because I'm not gonna hear the doorbell. I just had said. And I want my pizza. And then I gotta go for my nightly bike ride. And then I gotta go to sleep because I'm an old man with a close to a regular human schedule now. Time to join and snipe all the animal scans and then you go see things. Absolutely fucking feel free! If you, uh, if we're not on, I will ask for the goodness of, of my existence. 
Don't name anything in Outland. Don't scan anything in Outland or name it. Leave me Outland, please. Leave me the home system so I can name it cool stuff. But if you want to join and jump to the planet I'm on and find animals and plants and scan them and name them stupid shit, feel free. Feel free. Do I even talk? I right, gotta turn this thing out over here. Nightly bike ride, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm people now. I like exercise and stuff and go outside daily. The only sucky thing about online plays people can still spend their to try a map your base. Yeah, I guess true. I mean, for the moment, I don't really have a base. If someone fucks up the uranium volcano, I'm not gonna be that upset, really. Because I don't have a real base. But yeah, I guess since you can spray through a manipulator. Oh wait, that's not what I want. Did this reset by chance? Sometimes this resets for no reason. Blow up a sentinel. Sometimes this resets for no reason. Try my game, boss. Um, I'm only gonna be out for like five or ten more minutes. And uh, like I said, I didn't know what you was. I didn't know what you meant. I actually don't want any No Man's Sky handouts. I want to uh, want to earn everything. Don't I have to do drop this off at a, uh... No, this one. I was like, I definitely have to drop these off at a depot. Where's the... Where do I want to put these? Here we are. I gotta earn my goods. I'm This is the go to orbit. This planet has fire storms, all the animals are demons. I mean, it's a desert. I guess they have that. What the fuck happened to you? Why didn't have internet? What do you mean? Oh, that I'm like, I do a nightly bike ride and I'm very simple. By exercise, you've been sending a pokey zap. Excuse me, sir, I go to the pokey gym and use Bryn's account to kick my Pokemon out and then my info account to kick her Pokemon out and put my Pokemon back in so I get 50 points. It's not my fault. Blame Niantic for making the Pokemon Go gym system now require you to lose the gym to get your rewards. I live in rural Ocala. Nobody's gonna go take this gym down. Like, they do sometimes, but I usually have to do it myself. You have to lose to get your rewards. You can't just cash in anymore. So I gotta use Bren's account to boot my stupid whatever dumb shit I put in there this time. I'm doing a community service for the other two Instinct guys. Everyone in this area is fucking Instinct, apparently. Because there's two other guys who jump in the gym with me every time. Ah, oh, bitrate. Bitrate! And we're stuck there until I multi guy hound out and kick us out because no one's gonna come take it because we're a locale. I feel like some cactus is my good thing. I'm gonna turn this in. Give this guy some cactus flesh. Happy jump on accident. Sell all this Lemium, Aromium, Herox, Dirty Bronze, sell all this crap. And uh, then I'm gonna go up, turn these quests in, complete this stage of the main quest. And then I am going to hop off for the night, my dudes. Is that a problem like it is for Planet Side 2 then? There's three different groups to choose from. Yeah, there's three factions in Pokemon. You, you seriously don't know anything about Pokemon Go? It's actually kind of surprising just because of how prevalent it was. Yeah, there's three factions in Pokemon Go. You join one, and you can never, ever change. There is absolutely no way to change. It's not possible. And, uh... The only reason it matters is because you get to become a gym leader at the Poke Gems, put your Pokemon in. You can put one in, and then up to... S what is the max of six? Up to five other people from your team can also put their Pokemon in, and the people from the other two teams can fight the gem that you've made, the Gauntlet of Six Pokemon. And, long story short, if they win, they can boot your Pokemon in the gym, claim it for themselves, and start building their own team's gym. The problem is, you get rewards. You get rewards when your Pokemon comes back from the gym. And you get rewards based on how long they held it. And those rewards cap out like, if they didn't cap, that'd be fine, because i just get a fuck tillion coins when he came back 17 days later. But, uh, it caps at them being there for, like, eight hours. I only do this once a day, but once... 
you have your total amount of rewards you can get in a day is capped, and your or amount of rewards they can get when they come back is capped by how many you can get in a day. And you can get your full day's worth of rewards if a Pokemon is in a gym for a little over eight hours. And I think it's actually 10 hours. A little over 10 hours and then gets kicked out. You'll get a full day's worth of rewards. So anytime over that, you don't get anything because you can only get so much in a day. So I just go boot them out every day and put them back in. I'll just put them right back in. Because it's dumb. It's dumb. It's 500 minutes. That's what it is. How long that is. 500 minutes is how long they can stay before you're overflowing. I didn't take a picture on the desert planet! <sighs> it was a little way over it. I was always right the first time. But yeah, since if I don't intervene on Rembob's account, my Pokemon will be in there for five to eight days before somebody comes by and kicks them out. I just go boot them every night so I get my daily rewards. Lean Hantic further enforcing the living in a city is fucking cheating. Well, I mean, also take that, I guess. Gotta level up the gym badge. I have gold on the gym I bike to. I have the gold badge already. I've had the gold badge at the gym I walk to. Oh, it just hadn't popped up yet. Hadn't processed. I am guaranteed my 50 coins daily, pretty much. I asked the Corvax for an audience, telling him I come in search of knowledge. I need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of this universe. Yet something is wrong with the life form. I do not speak, not at first. As I come closer, nanite clusters emerge through their face mask, spilling out into their outstretched hands. The Corvax does nothing. It remains there, arms outstretched. It remains motionless. Its arms outstretched to offer me the nanite. Okay, I guess I'll harvest your salty tears. He grabs me in the moment of contact. Nanite clusters touch my hands. They invade me, tunneling inside my body through my exosuit. Through my mind. You need to stop. Even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as the Corvaxia. A vast tapestry of wonder. Of memories shared between countless beings and times. I stand on the Corvax homeworld as Gex ships fill the skies. I see the moment the first Corvax was melted down for its rare minerals. <laughs> but even in the depths of their subjugation, there was hope. A bargain. A prayer to a greater being. The Corvax viewed the Atlas as what they might become in time. An intelligence beyond comprehension. Beyond judgment. The vision ends and I convulse as the nanite cluster spilled through my helmet. <laughs> the Corvax watches me impassively. What the fuck, dude? Life form desired knowledge. Convergence complied. The travelers must be aided. Look at the nanite clusters. Look at them. Stuff of sentinels. You not see the truth of what we have said? Do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters, puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They're just currency. Traded between species to create technology and weapons. Aren't they? They shift and undulate, changing their shape at my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. There are 16 of them. They need me. They crave me. I have only one choice. Take them. 
reaches out to me once more. This time there is no vision, no miracle. Just a handful of words. Existence is beautiful, if you let it be. Life is not a question. There does not need to be an answer. I'm going to walk away from you forever now. And I am going to go reconsider life really just in general possibly throw myself off a cliff I uh yeah, I some card. okie dokie then that's what we're doing today so <laughs> much manga s appropriate soup Appropriate manga ass. It was not okay. Not okay with whatever just happened. I'm gonna achieve maximum pickles here pretty soon. What's the thing I could make with like 30 bazillion pickles? thing that was no it's camera roots fusion accelerant is literally just a molotov cocktail now it was that unstable gel and then acid's the same thing but fungal mold okay. sign a fight pickle yo you uh all right if you're on later later like, after I eat my pizza and do my bike ride, I might do a little Monster Hunter before I go to bed, if you want to do some pickle. Because I'm always down to hunt me some pickles, because I gotta open up the local pickle farm. I gotta open up a pickle farm. Super hardcore. I need so much pickle or loot. I need some pickles for my dickle. <laughs> That was so bad. I thought about that. Like, the thought came to me. And I was gonna say it. And I was like, no, that's so stupid. I'm not gonna say it. And then I said it anyway. And I honestly don't know why. And I'm sorry. Spotted pickle. And talked to the bros. Still on the pickle quest. Oh, you gotta... If you hunt a pickle, I'll tell you this. The easiest way to do it. Because you're gonna want a zillion pickle meat anyway. If you just kill a pickle. It'll complete that quest totally. You'll completely finish the little quest to discover if you just fight one. That's a lot of pickles. No, otherwise it's gonna take you a real long time. Alright, I need to go create duplicity in my dihydrogen. But I will do that later. That is an adventure for another time. Uh, tomorrow, we'll get back on. Hopefully at my normal time, if everything goes right and the internet doesn't make me sad. 4 p.m. EST. We're gonna go do some of the community quests, and I'm going to use the harvesters to start off by just hanging out, chilling, talking to chat, doing the No Man's Sky thing, and duplicating a bunch of the hydrogen. Um, through actually legitimate means using the blenders to process and reprocess the jelly and just go ahead and break the laws of conservation of matter and do whatever the fuck we want because of space stuff. Sorry we lost so much stream today, guys. So we barely got a two-hour stream out of this, but uh, Spectrum was having just real big issues. What looked like almost statewide based on that outage map. It was a real bad time. But at least we got something. Did you end up finding a way to introduce Brim Bob to 40k? Not yet. But I have not yet abandoned hope. I'm gonna give me some pizza. I'm gonna go ride my bike, be a human, maybe hunt some pickles. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, everybody. Tomorrow will be a better day. <laughs>